The University of Bridgeport are bringing relevant practitioners that are going to be engaging the future workforce of our country. What's in innovative about this initiative and transformative about the curriculum being developed at the University of Bridgeport is that they're thinking about practitioners and those of us that are practitioners really gain experience in career paths that we can not only learn theory but also apply it into our work. And so it's really exciting to see that the University of Bridgeport are really being innovators in developing an online Masters of Public Health program. As we're looking at how can we be most efficient to create an impact in public health. The curriculum provides that opportunity to learn those skills that are essential. One of the things that's important in um, as public health professionals is that advocacy component. And so knowing how to engage your legislators, both at the local level and at the state and federal level, they all play pivotal roles in public health laws that can negatively impact the community that we serve. And so when we're looking at professionals going into public health, is essential to know how to civically engage because that is how we can create positive outcomes. The range of uh, public health trends is what we call them in our field is that they, they do range depending on the needs of the ever-changing of our demographics population. So right now, we're dealing with coronavirus, we're dealing with opioid epidemic, and so we have to make sure that we are preparing our public health professionals with the right skills to be able to respond to emergency preparedness as both support staff and as in leaders when you're responding to public health emergencies. And then we also need to be able to develop health education um, initiatives that are gonna really get people to behavior change. And then also the University of Bridgeport curriculum is looking to really engage in not only the development of health education, but also engaging policy, and then also engage in emergency preparedness planning, all of that that can create the right skills for our future workforce.